Uh, hello, everyone. Today we're going to talk about acupuncture. Uh, acupuncture is one kind of uh, therapeutic skill uh, uh, of Chinese medicine. It has a very long history in China. Um, we say that acupuncture uh, is not only for treat disease. We also use acupuncture to prevent disease. Normally, we use a needle to put in some special location or position of our body, and it can help uh, for relieve, relieve pain or for prevent uh, some disease. It has a very long history, but we can say uh, nowadays is not only China is using acupuncture. Almost every country in the world is using acupuncture. So, the most uh, biggest uh, organization of health, World Health Organization, in 1979, they held a meeting and then they created a list of 43 diseases uh, can be treated with acupuncture or by acupuncture. And until now, uh, WHO uh, recommends acupuncture for more than 100 conditions. At the same time, WHO also put together a team of scientists uh, to produce uh, a paper about acupuncture. And this paper was published in 2003. In this paper, uh, these 28 conditions for which acupuncture was proven through controlled trials. What does it mean? As we know, nowadays, the Western medicine, normally when they uh, produce or when they invent, invent a new drug, normally they need to make uh, controlled trials uh, for several phases. Only after the controlled files confirm the effect, they can put it or they can use, use it uh, directly to human body. So here, the 28 conditions, it means this kind of conditions or this kind of disease have been proved by this kind of study and they confirm the effect of acupuncture. Uh, so here is the 28 uh, conditions that acupuncture uh, has confirmed the effect. Let's have a look. For example, the second one, the allergic relitis. It is one kind of disease um, okay, where, where I uh, worked. I, where, where I am working this moment in Portugal. Normally, uh, this kind of um, disease began in March and uh, disappeared, I can say disappeared at the end of July, more or less. <clears throat> and the Western medicine, uh, normally they use some kind of chemical medication only to um, control or to relieve the symptoms. Uh, but they, or I can say the medicine, medicine can't cure it. And uh, uh, we know when we need to use a chemical medication for two or three months or more time, normally this kind of medication uh, has side effect, sometimes very strong side effect. So, we have another choice. We can use acupuncture, and uh, we can get the same effect uh, sometime 
we can get a better effect with acupuncture, and the acupuncture has almost no side effect. So, uh, in Portugal or in Europe, nowadays we use a lot of acupuncture uh, for allergic relatives. Let's see another one, uh, such as headache. Headache. In fact, uh, in my personal opinion, in my opinion, a headache, maybe acupuncture is the best treatment for acupuncture, uh, for headache. Um, and the effect is very fast. Normally when I have a patient, okay, the patient uh, uh, comes to uh, ask help or uh, uh, acupuncture to, to treat a headache. Normally after uh, half an hour, the treatment of acupuncture, when we finish the treatment, the patient stays without a headache. So the, the effect of acupuncture for headache is very quickly. And there's some other diseases, such as money sickness. Uh, we know when a woman uh, gets pregnant, normally in the first one or two or three months, they um, stay with nausea, sometimes very strong nausea, sometimes 20, almost 24 hours uh, per day. So, because they are pregnant, and they can't use chemical medication to relieve the nausea. So what they can do? Uh, we say they can uh, ask help uh, from Chinese medicine. And then normally, we also use acupuncture. Some other diseases, as here, sciatic, sciatic pain. We know sciatic pain sometimes the pain is so strong, it can be uh, caused by uh, herniation, disc herniation. Uh, if you go to a doctor, maybe they give you some pain cleaner, some med medication only for pain. Uh, when the effect of the medication pass, the pain come back again. Or the doctor, doctor can suggest you to make an operation to, re to remove the radiation, the disc radiation. Um, but the effect, uh, we have some patient, patient after operation, okay, they can stay one year, two year without any symptom. But later, the pain comes, comes back again. And uh, we know if you want to make an operation normally, uh, it costs a lot. So if we can use acupuncture, uh, maybe 10 times of, of acupuncture treatment, the pain disappears. Okay, we, we can say not that we, with acupuncture, we can uh, cure, or we can remove, remove the pain forever, no. Normally the acupuncture for sciatic pain it is also, uh, maybe the patient can stay one or two years without the pain, but then the pain comes back again. When he or she can, comes back again, we make another time, 10, imagine 10 times of acupuncture, the pain disappears again. And the cost of this kind of treatment is very lower than uh, operation. So these, here, these 28 conditions uh, has been proved by uh, or through controlled trials. Then we have another list here, uh, more than maybe 100, 100 conditions. As WHO or World Health Organization recommends, Acupuncture because its therapeutic effect has been shown, although further 
proof is needed. What does it mean? It means, okay, some study, uh, some studies have made, but they are not enough to prove the effect of acupuncture. Here we can try to see some situation, such here, um, cancer, cancer pain. We know some people, when they uh, have cancer, such as liver cancer or stomach cancer, uh, one of the main symptoms is the pain. Uh, sometimes with chemical medication, the pain cannot be relieved. Or even sometimes they need to take a, a Murphy, but the pain can't be uh, relieved completely. And the acupuncture has very good effect for this kind of pain. Uh, I have some patients, okay, sometimes they came not for insomnia. They came for other situations such as pain on the knee or pain on the shoulder. But there is one thing very interesting. Normally after the treatment, the patient, okay, go, went back home. Then the next time when he uh, came back, he told me something very interesting. He said the next day after the treatment, he went back home. And when he arrived, arrived, he felt very strong will to sleep. So he, he went to sleep. And only the, the next morning, he uh, worked up. And the patient feel, felt it very, very strange. So uh, we, we, we can say that acupuncture can relax your mind, can help uh, those patient with um, insomnia. And something more interesting, look here, update. What does it mean? Normally we use acupuncture, uh, we use a lot in Europe. We use acupuncture to lose weight. And the effect of uh, acupuncture for, lose weight, for losing weight uh, is very effective. Uh, normally we can, uh, one session, one session of acupuncture, the patient can, um, reduce one or two kilograms. So here is the list of this kind of disease that we need to make more study to verify the effect of acupuncture. And uh, another one here, only uh, eight, eight conditions. And this kind of condition or disease uh, as World Health Organization uh, said, um, acupuncture for this when treatment by conventional and other therapies is difficult. What does it mean? It means the Western medicine or the other therapy almost have no effect and acupuncture can get some effect. Only we don't have so many cases here, sometimes, uh, as normal, sometimes some patient can get very good effect with acupuncture. And uh, Western medicine almost um, can't do anything, uh, such as deafness. We know deafness is one kind of disease that uh, uh, very difficult to get uh, a result. And sometimes with acupuncture, uh, the patient can stay better or uh, stay normal. The other such as um, this, uh, irritable colon syndrome. 
uh, this kind of patient normally may um, have um, diarrhea for five times or ten times per day. Uh, we can use acupuncture. In fact, in our clinic, we also use Chinese herbs for uh, this situation. So here is the recommendation of health, uh, World Health Organization. Acupuncture, as we know, acupuncture, normally we need to use needle. And uh, nowadays we use can this kind of needle. This kind of needle, in fact, only has more or less 100 years of history. Before, what kind of needle we use? So, maybe 2,000 or 3,000 years, years ago, we used this kind of needle. Is the bone. We use the bone of the animal, or we use needles of stone, or even uh, bamboo. Of course, it's more painful. And uh, one of our very important uh, uh, classic book, the internal classic of uh, Yellow Emperor, uh, we can find uh, line kind of classic needles. Today, we try to make it. You can see here, line kind of needles. And in fact, what we use now today is the, we call the, um, how to do the feed firm needle. It's more or less like this one. I know some friends who maybe have the doubt acupuncture. Imagine acupuncture is kind of treatment. We need to insert needle in some points. It must be very painful. But in fact, if you can find a very good uh, doctor or very good uh, uh, professional, you will not feel the pain. Why? Because first, our needles, acupuncture needles, is very thin. You can see here. The match is 42 millimeters. And the medical ceiling is 20.5 millimeters. Normally, if you go, uh, go uh, to visit the doctor, maybe they give injection with this needle. And here, is the uh, sewing needles is 1.02 millimeters and the acupuncture needle. You can see it's only 0 0.25 millimeter a meter. So the acupuncture needle is very, very thin. If we can insert it uh, in the point very quickly and uh, with very good training, the patient normally doesn't feel the pain, pain at all. So here, maybe you have a question. You put a needle in your body or in some point of your body. So how do you know where is the point? We say, okay, in Chinese medicine, according to Chinese medicine, we have, can, we have one kind of energy in Chinese, we call it the qi, flows through our body, through meridians. Uh, it's almost more or less as one kind of channel that inside our body, and the energy or the qi flows inside this kind of channel. And uh, this kind of channel, we say, the acupuncture points locate on this kind of channel. Imagine we have a chain, railway chain. So the channel inside of our body is more or less as the chain, the, the railway, and the point is more or less as the, the chain station. 
So when our body have some problem, we need to find some place to repel. Is more or less as the chain. If the chain has some problem, we need to stop it at the chain station to repel it. And in our body, we call this kind of station acupuncture point. And we put the needle inside this kind of point to prevent to cheat disease. Why? Because the acupuncture can restore the balance of qi inside our body. As you know, the balance, the concept of balance is the key point of Chinese culture. To Chinese medicine, is the same. Meridian or this kind of channel in Chinese medicine, we say we have 12 channels. So six yin channel and six yang channel. What does it mean, mean yin and uh, yang? Uh, it is a very complicated uh, concept of Chinese culture, not only Chinese American, Chinese culture. Uh, and uh, six, six yang channel or six yin channel or, was, or what we can, we can call it the six yang energy channel or six yin energy ch channel uh, such as uh, uh, here we have yang ning and sha yang it refers the strength of the Yang energy. So Tai Yang is the uh, strongest one, and the Yang Ming is the stronger one, and the Shao Yang is the weak one. So in the, the inside the same, Tai Yin is the strong strongest yin energy channel of meridian, Shao Yin is the stronger, and the Jing is the, the weak one. And each channel connects with one organ of our body, such here, Sao Yin. Okay, we say Sao Yin in the hand, it connects with our heart. And uh, our foot, it connects with our kidney. And each meridian, normally, uh, each meridian can have line, line points or some meridian is longer, it can have um, a 66, a 67, such as our uh, gallbladder bladder meridian, had, it has six, uh, three points. Here is the image of meridian. Uh, you can see here, this one is the large intestine meridian. Uh, you can find the, 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 the chi begin from the finger, the index finger, then goes up. And here is the urinary bladder meridian. It begins here near our eyes, then finished uh, on the foot. Okay, in fact, if you want to make treatment to the patients, uh, here comes the most important part, is the way how you insert and how you manipulate the needle. You can look at here, you can see sometimes we insert the needle, very deep, very deeply, and sometimes no. And here, you also, you can, you can see, sometimes we insert needle perpendicular. Sometimes we use other ways, such as oblique, such as uh, transverse. Why we choose different way uh, to insert the needle? That's the the, the key to get the acupuncture effect because the, the depth of the uh, insertion 
It depends the situation of the patient. Normally, if it, if it is an acute situation, we don't need to insert the needle very deeply. But if we, it is a chronic situation, we need to insert the needle uh, deeper. And uh, when the, the point uh, is located, imagine, um, on your abdomen, uh, we can insert a needle perpendicular. But if you, the point is on your head, you know we don't have uh, too much muscle on our head. So this kind of point, normally we use this way, the transverse to insert the needle. And after insert, insert the needle, we need to manip manipulate the needle. Uh, in Chinese medicine or in acupuncture, uh, we say if it is a deficiency syndrome, we need to tonify. So normally, we manipulate the needle slowly with less uh, strength, and then we retain the needle for more time. If it is an acute situation, we need to uh, insert the needle um, with more strength or to manipulate the needle with more strength more quickly and we can get a better effect. And this kind of method to manipulate the needle um, is the key point and when we want to uh, practice acupuncture. Here, I would like to show you some uh, common points that we can use uh, day by day, such as the first one is the sixth point of our pericardium. And normally we use this, kind of, this point for several situations. First, we can use it for nausea. As I mentioned, we can use it for many morning sickness for the pregnant woman. We also use this point for digestion um, problem. Imagine sometimes you eat a lot, and then you feel your uh, stomach is too much full. You can also uh, use this point. Um, sometimes if you don't have a condition to um, make a puncture, you can use your finger to massage this point. This point we also use for <clears throat> palpitation. Imagine sometimes you are out of your uh, home and you feel you are too much nervous and you feel your heart is uh, beating uh, too much fast. What you can do, you can massage this point. It helps you to calm down. And in fact, we also use this point for uh, insomnia to help you sleep better. This is the first point I would like to show you. The second point I, I would like to, uh, to show you is the first point of large intestine. This point is very famous. Even some, uh, some people, they are not Chinese medicine doctor, they know this point. Uh, normally we use this point for headache. Imagine at this moment, if you are with a headache, you can massage this point. It can help you to relieve it. This point is also used for toothache. Sometimes uh, we have pain, strong pain uh, of our teeth, and we can massage this point with some strength. It can relieve the toothache or tooth pain very quickly. So this is the second one. The third one, uh, it, it is the seventh point of uh, uh, heart meridian. Uh, normally we use this point specially for insomnia. It's a very good, very effective point for uh, insomnia. Also, 
Of course, if you have no condition to use a needle, or you are afraid uh, of using needle, you can also massage or you can use a pen to press this point, and it helps a lot for your sleep. Uh, of course, this point is also very good for uh, relaxing your mind. Another one, this point, if you have seen some Indian film, you can find the Indian woman normally, they have a sign here. And here is the location of this point. This point has, has uh, many indications, many effects, such as calms down the mind, such as uh, improve the, the quality of sleep, such as uh, reduce congestion, uh, imagine the congestion um, of your nose. You can massage this point. It helps or not. So that's all uh, about acupuncture. Today I only make a very brief uh, introduction of acupuncture. I wish we uh, will have more opportunity to study uh, Chinese medicine together. Thank you. <laughs>